Welcome everyone, uh, my name is Fermin, I work as a common lisp engineer at Rivenpack and today I'm going to talk about how to build an Emacs. Right. So uh, let's start by defining what is an Emacs. So th this can be a really this can be really hard depending on what you want to say, what you want to qualify, what Emacs is and not. I'm going to uh, get just this definition. It's not the best, but it's mine. Right. So uh, I would argue that, that an Emacs should have text editing capabilities. I wouldn't say it should be a text editor, but it should be able to work really well with text. It should have introspection and a global state, so you can ask them every time. Um, the software itself, I think it should be able to modify itself while running. Um, so it shouldn't be static and you shouldn't never restart for any reason, like in GNU Emacs, you can redefine every function or every functionality the way you want. And extensibility should not be limited. Uh, with, with this, I mean that if you add a new package, it shouldn't be a difference. You shouldn't have an API uh, to extend the, the software. And the entire uh, software itself should be the external API code. I'll argue that also um, should be list based. But um, it's controversial. So, yes, they're going to get this definition and then extend upon it. So, uh, bear with me. So, right now, uh, GNU Emacs is the best Emacs that we have. Uh, it's not the only one, uh, ne not even the first one, Emacs, but it's the best one that we have. The one that we're using, the one that, we, that, that I'm using right now, and the one that we're here for. <laughs> but as we all know, it's not perfect. I'm going to highlight some. Um, imperfection that all that we should know, I guess, that Emacs have. So the first one is that uh, I would argue that Emacs Lisp is a good Lisp, but it's not a general purpose, purpose programming language. You can do pretty crazy things with Emacs, but I would argue that you can do also do that with BrainFuck. I'm not comparing them. I know Emacs Lisp is so much better than BrainFuck, but that's not an argument. Emacs Lisp is uh, a language for an editor. Not for writing um, game engine, for example. Um, it's not the fastest Lisp. We all know this. It's um, not in the middle, I will say. It was really slow. Now it's getting better. Uh, maybe with uh, the C integration, um, thanks to Andrea, it can be even better, but we'll see. And it has limited concurrency. This will still be the case. It has shared threads, as far as I know. Uh, it's not perfect and it's also not that fast. And even though this for some people is not an issue, I'll argue that for me it's an issue, which is the GNU Emacs core is written in C. Um, I'm not a big fan of C. I mean, I have wrote C in, the C in the past and it's okay as a language, but um, I prefer all being Lisp so I can hack on it easily and redefine it while it's running all in just one language so you don't have to learn two languages to get into it um even though it's just 10 percent of emacs right but still there it needs to be maintained and yeah i don't like that uh, kind of a uh, emacs aspect but just this was just my opinion okay so i will argue that you know emacs pretty good you should use it <laughs> you're probably using it if you're here and uh, use it every day it's great uh so uh, some people in the past um, wanted to write uh, an Emacs, of course, another Emacs, and they think about different things and they attempt to write similar Emacs-like things. I'm going to. Um, I know there's a lot of more, way more Emacs than the one that I'm going to say now, but I'm just going to focus on the Emacs that uh, meets the criteria are not like. Uh, the Linux Torvalds Emacs, right? Which is just a C, simple Emacs to write C. For me, that may be uh, an Emacs for other people, but not for me. I wouldn't argue that that's not a really an Emacs, just an editor with commands similar to Emacs. But I digress. Okay, so the language. I will argue that Common Lisp may be the best language, period. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, the best language for writing Emacs, also. Um, it's a timeless standard, written in the early 90s. It's fast and reliable. Uh, it's a great Lisp. 
I will argue that it's the best Lisp, but I don't want to get in any trouble, so I will just say it's a great Lisp. Um, has good library support, doesn't have like a huge library, like I could say Python or C, but it's pretty uh, robust and good library. Similar to Emaclisp, which may seem as a historical accident, which maybe it is, but also in this case has some interesting properties that will uh, be discussed um, later. Okay, so um, taking common Lisp as a language to write an Emacs, I'm going to get some technologies and documentation that we can use to write an Emacs in common Lisp. So the first one is uh, MCClim, which is an implementation of a um, common Lisp interface standard. This is great. I mean, I loved how it is written, how it is defined. I like standard things. Um, MCClean, it's a marvelous tool. I would argue that it's the best mm, toolkit. I wouldn't say there's a toolkit because it's way more extensive than it, but it's great. I would highly recommend if you want to write a GUI application in common Lisp. Uh, well, MCClean is great. Um, also, some people thought about um, libraries for writing Emacs style application. So to create an Emacs, some people already thought about this and wrote a paper. Um, one of them was Robert Strand, which is one of the guys more interested in, in, in Emacs-like things. And this paper is great. You can get a lot of information how you can write your application, get similar functionality and all the things that I said before. And also the same um, of the Robert Strand, one of the guys that wrote that paper, also wrote Cluffer, which is a library for text editor buffer, but more important, it's also a definition. So there's a video uh, out there well, where he explains um, what Cluffer is. So he wrote an implementation of Cluffer, but it's more of a, like a... Um, um, yeah, uh, like a standard, like a way to write uh, how buffers should work in Emacs. And I think it's better in some ways than what Emacs, GNU Emacs does right now. And in other ways, it's really interesting. And I just have had a lot of fun implementing it. So and using it more or less. Uh, so yeah, that's some great documentation, great foundation. So you don't have to I, I mean, it's really uh, interesting to write everything by yourself because you are a great programmer and you you want to have control of everything, understand everything from the ground up. But we have to understand that an Emacs, it's a really complex application. And I will say that if you have some foundation, it will be easier and you don't have to rewrite the wheel 20 times. Right? Okay, so attempt. Uh, the same guy, Robert Strand, have two Climax, which is Emacs, an Emacs-like thing written in Camel Lisp. Um, the first one's the first one is abandoned, and the second one is a work in progress. Um, it's really interesting. The second one uses, in fact, the Cluffer buffer implementation one custom, and the first one is just a cl MC Claim um, front end for Emacs. So it's really tight. The so the the Interface really tied with the API, so it's basically an basically um, software that you, that is similar to an Emacs, right? And the third one, it's a LEM project, which is a common Lisp editor that aims to be really close to Emacs, and it probably fits the criteria. But uh, it's using the anchors for the interface, as far as I know, and it's really common Lisp focus. So it even has some major modes for other languages. But um, I mean, it's um, it's mainly for common Lisp, right? written by common Lisp and for common Lisp developers. Um, so I decided to write my own Emacs, um, but I don't want to write everything from scratch because I'm not a great programmer. <laughs> and also because probably there's something that some people already tried. And the first thing that I noticed with all these attempts um, that they fail in compete with Emacs, so to say, they don't have an Emacs conf. <laughs> And they don't support GNU Emacs packages, and that's a big deal because there are more of the thousands of packages out there, and they're great. And imagine I want to convince someone to say, "Hey, try this editor instead of X thing," 
And I would say, okay, can I use git things? So I have to write a git um, liar, magit, or mode, and I want to play chess results. So I just wrote. So that's really <laughs> hard for one person to do. So someone thought similar. So they say, okay, I'm going to rewrite the Emacs C API to common Lisp. It was this was back in 2005 by Saul Betts. Saul Betts. Uh, but it was banned in 2007. The project was called Lice. And it was a really interesting approach, but um, it wasn't finished and it was lost in time. So my idea was to continue with the project. So the foundation was really interesting, even though I didn't like some uh, the, uh, designing choices. Um, but I want to continue with the project, finish the GNU C Emacs API, add a compatibility layer to use GNU Emacs packages. That's the selling point, right? So you don't have to use new things. <laughs> I like my Emacs. Just want to have my Emacs with common Lisp. That's it. And also better, probably a better buffer implementation. So the idea now that uh, having an Emacs compatibility layer is there, improving Emacs upon it, right? You can use the Emacs API or the new one depending on your needs. Right? You can also have the, that compatibility of both. So um, I come up with Cedar. Um, Cedar is my attempt. It's a, it's a uh, lice uh, fork. I will say the hard for hard fork because I change um, a lot of things <laughs> and add a lot of things, but it's similar, it's still similar. Um, and for this demo, I'm going to use the Cedar N courses branch. I'm going to test it out because the other ones are a work in progress. So one, it's the MC Clean and Cluffer implementation, which is not finished and doesn't run. And the other one is with the Visual Debugger. That I'm not going to explain here, but basically, it's an interesting debugger similar to Slime, which is the superior Lisp uh, for Emacs. It's the beginning of Emacs. So it's uh, in courses base also like um, da, 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 like Lem, but uh, way more easy, simple. Um, I write well, I trans late, more or less, the list mode functionality, and it has similar in Wimax API. We'll see that in the demo. Um, it's usable, but a work in progress in certain functionality. Right now, I'm not focusing on stability yet. I'm focusing on finish the MC Clean frontend, which I'm not even halfway there, <laughs> but I hope to finish it uh, maybe next year. Who knows? Um, finish the compatibility layer from the new Emacs packages. I think this, I think this is doable. I know how to do it. Just need time, uh, maybe a little bit of caffeine. <laughs> Coffee. So uh, let's go with the demo, right? So uh, let's open a terminal. What's this anchor base? Let's go to quick lisp. Log for see that. Um, and let's run it. Okay, so now that we're here, um, it give us the welcome thing. This is the main buffer. So I like will say the Emacs buffer when you enter. Um, so it knows that it's firming, it does not have coded. <laughs> okay, and now we see it's, the, it's a major mode in the bottom, right? Lisp, inter it, it's Lisp interaction, and this is the name of the buffer, right? Um, okay, so we have a couple of buffers. We have Scratch, which is the fundamental mode, and Messages, right? Okay, so <clears throat> let's get some interesting things. First, uh, let's open a file. So I think it's in... Programming Emacs Conf 2021 and let's go to see there and let's go to demo. So let's open a file. So um uh, font lock is not yet um well it's implemented, so it's there but it's not active by default. So let's open uh, uh, MX and let's go Lisp um interaction mode. So this, when it shows me here, is the implementation of the kill sex, sex expression, s expression command, which is exactly the same point by point uh, from the Emacs one. You can go right now in Emacs and ask how is kill s expression defined. This is the same, and this is how you define a key. So we have we can say uh, describe symbol. Uh, the package will be. Um, Cedar and the symbol is uh, global map. Global map. <clears throat> so um, it's a top level global key map. 
thank you for the information. Um, but we can also say, okay, uh, can I say, okay, global map. Okay, we're giving this a key map. So even though I want to aim to have the same um, API, the, um, sorry, uh, the back thing, so the back end is going to be close oriented and not same any max, but the return expression should be really similar. So if we say current buffer, it will give us the buffer. It's not the same any max, but it's a buffer object. And we can also ask about, let me try to remember. Ah, oh, there we are. <clears throat> um, buffer name, we can close this and open one here. And we can say, okay, so we have this thing and will give us the name so uh, this is similar to the emacs api as we saw we so briefly we have a lot a couple of commands um kills expression also have a little bit of uh, help kill word kill line kill region kill buffer all things that we expect from an emacs um and yeah, this is there's a couple of things I may show, but I think this is good enough. I don't have enough time. Uh, if you want more information, so let's go back to it. Let's close the buffer. Does it work? No, it doesn't work. <laughs> okay. Now the help buffer, no. Uh, let's go to Cedar. Okay. So if you want more information, um, first of all, thank you very much. Um, sorry that I don't have enough time to show too, much, too many things about Cedar, but... Um, yeah, uh, if you want more information, you can always send me an email. This is my webpage. Um, uh, thank you very much.